Hi there, you're watching Aardvark Tax TV. I'm Sean, I'm an enrolled agent and customer service representative here at Aardvark Tax. Today's topic is gonna be CTEC and the Franchise Tax Board. This is a California specific topic. So if you're not a tax preparer in California, you might wanna just head over to YouTube and watch some cat videos instead. But if you are a California tax preparer and you're taking this as part of our 20 hour federal and California tax course, terrific, we got you covered. We're gonna inform CTEC that you finished and you're gonna be able to renew your CTEC registration all as good in the world. If you're just watching this on YouTube though, then you're not getting that credit for having watched this video and doing the work maybe associated with uh, completing your education. So make sure you head on over to www.ardvarktax.com in order to register for the 20 hour course today. So what is CTEC? CTEC is the California Tax Education Council and it was created by the California legislature in order to ensure that tax preparers in California are ethical and well prepared. Now, you don't always have to register with CTEC. There, uh, there are some exceptions. For instance, if you are an enrolled agent certified by the Internal Revenue Service, if you are a, an attorney who is part of the California Bar, or if you are a certified public accountant, then you are exempt from the CTEC rules. Um, that's because you have another agency that overwatches you. If you are not one of those three things, however, and you want to prepare taxes in California, you must register with CTEC every year in order to make that happen. So how do you start? Well, first you have to take a 60 hour qualifying education course. Um, now, this is not something that our company provides. It's a, it's a qualifying education rather than continuing education. And, and you must take it uh, before you register with CTEC for the first time, unless you have work experience from another state. Um, and then you wanna reach out to CTEC to see how that work experience can be applied uh, so that you don't have to take that education. If, however, you do take the education, you must complete your CTEC registration within 18 months after completing your education, along with a few other uh, small things that you have to do before CTEC will register you in California. The first is that you have to have a P10 from the IRS. So uh, you cannot start preparing taxes in California without both a CTEC registration and a P10 from the IRS. Second, you're gonna need a surety bond for $5,000 um, so that if you, know, you make a mistake on someone's taxes and they lose money, that they have an opportunity to kind of get some of that back through an insurance policy. Third is that you must get a criminal background check. For those of you who are already registered with CTEC who have never done a criminal background check with CTEC, don't worry about it. You don't have to. This, the legacy folks are, are, are exempted for the time being, but anyone new who is just starting as a CTEC tax preparer will have to get a background check um, with their fingerprints and uh, do all of that kind of thing for CTEC before they will be allowed to prepare taxes in California. Finally, once you've done those things, you have to go to the CTEC site and you have to register. And then every year thereafter, you have to re-register. And part of that re-registration process is going ahead and getting 20 hours of federal and California tax law, of which the, this course, if you're taking it, will completely fulfill that obligation. Once you have completed your education, you must go to the CTEC website yourself and make sure that your bond is up to date and then re-register with CTEC. We will inform CTEC that you completed your education, but that is not enough. You must, you must re-register on the CTEC website every year. And the, the first initial due date for that is October 31st of every year. Now they do have a grace period of two and a half months, meaning that if you forget to do it before October 31st, you have until January 15th as a drop dead date. But after January 15th, all bets are off. CTEC is extremely strict. They will rescind your registration. They will force you to retake the 60 hour qualifying course again, and you'll be reassigned a new CTEC number. So it's really in your best interest to make sure that you register properly um, and that you re-register every year. I would suggest doing it by October 31st because CTIN will tack on another um, 
I don't know, at 30 bucks, I think it is, uh, if you do it after the October 31st deadline, but before January 15th. Okay, so California is not the only state in the union that requires registration of tax preparers. Um, you have to be licensed in Oregon, for instance. Um, if you are listening to this and you're an Oregon tax preparer, we have a 30 hour tax preparation continuing education course that you might wanna look into that will completely fulfill your obligation with Oregon. Uh, there's also New York and Maryland uh, require tax preparers to be registered and to take education every year. Um, their requirements are different than California and Oregon, and so you want to check with your state folks before you sign up for one of our courses, which may not completely fulfill your obligations. As I mentioned before, you have to register with the IRS to get a PTIN number before you can prepare taxes in California. That's pretty much everywhere in the country. The IRS requires you to have a PTIN. The IRS does not have any other requirement to be licensed to prepare taxes, even though at one time they did start a program that allowed for that. It was the RTRP program, the Registered Tax Preparers Program. Um, that ended up not going forward after a court case, in which case several tax preparers sued the IRS and ended up winning. Congress had not given the IRS authority to go ahead and create that program. So what Congress or and the IRS, I guess not Congress, Congress hasn't done anything, but what the IRS has done in its stead is it created a new program called the AFSP. It's the Annual Filing Season Program that you can belong to if you want to, it's an optional program that basically proves to the world that you have got the chops to do tax preparation well. Now, if you are a California preparer and you take the 20 hours continuing education through Aardvark Tax and get re-registered by CTEC, you are automatically a part of the AFSP program and the IRS will contact you to let you know that uh, you can take part of its benefits. If, on the other hand, you are outside the state of California and you would like to take the AFSP, we're gonna have another video soon that talks about which of our courses at Aardvark Tax we can provide you that will allow you to fulfill your obligation so that you can become part of the AFSP program. All right, so CTEC manages the tax preparers in the state of California, but they don't do any of the tax collection or managing of taxes in general. That belongs to a different group, and that's the Franchise Tax Board. The Franchise Tax Board is responsible for all of the collection of income and most business taxes, business income taxes, within the state of California. There are other kinds of taxes like sales tax, which are not part of the FTB's mandate. Uh, for instance, sales tax is managed by the California Department of Tax and Fee Administration. Um, that's actually a, a, new, uh, a new group that was created after uh, the legislature kind of did, lost confidence in the California Board of Equalization, which used to manage sales tax. So there are other groups that manage other taxes in California, uh, like your property tax, which is managed by local governments. But for income tax, that's done by the Franchise Tax Board. And so when you are a California tax preparer, it's not just CTEC that you may have to deal with, you may also have to deal with the Franchise Tax Board in order to help your clients if uh, they have misreported income or they have some kind of uh, a fine or penalty that they have to deal with. Um, as a California tax preparer, you may deal with the FTB for that as well. Okay, that's it for CTEC and the FTB. Uh, one final thought is that if you ever do have questions about CTEC, uh, they do have a phone number that you can call. It is, I gotta look off screen for it, 877-850-2832. Um, or you can reach out to them at their website, www.ctech.org. Ctech.org is going to have all the information you need if you are thinking of preparing taxes in California and need to register or if you are a California registered tax preparer and you need to re-register. I'm gonna end this video with one more big giant warning. You must re-register with CTEC by January 15th or you have to do everything over again. It's very painful, it's, so don't do it. 
you know, in fact, try to do it before October 31st and save yourself uh, a few more dollars uh, for not having to pay the extra the extra fee that comes with being late and going into the grace period. But January 15th is your drop dead date. You definitely want to be sure that you've re-registered by then and that will keep your registration up to date. All right, that's it. We'll see you next time.